This is one of the first cases I did of bladeless LASIK in 2009. Um, this is the suction ring being applied onto the eye. So the aim of a refractive surgery is to reduce the error of refraction so that the patient will no longer need glasses. So this is a bladeless LASIK um, with a femtosecond uh, laser creating the flap. So the suction ring ensures that the eye is immobile, it's in place, so that the cone can be applied properly on top of the cornea. This is, the, through the surgeon's view, the aplanation cone being inserted into place. And it's slowly lo loaded, lowered onto the eye so that it flattens the cornea and creates a plane upon which the femtosecond can deliver its laser shots. So this is docking and well ideally it's right smack on the center of the pupil and these are the actual femtosecond laser shots being delivered on uh, the plane of the cornea this is the 120th micrometer level depth of the cornea so those are small, very small bubbles creating a plane of separation within the cornea. At the bottom is the pocket and at the sides are the area where it's free. So now we are freeing the flap from the bed. And the flap will be lifted away, kept safely away from the eczema laser, which will be delivering the shots necessary to sculpt our cornea into the proper shape, into the proper thickness, so that we can get rid of our glasses. So those blue light that you can see that's the eczema laser sculpting the cornea so that it is of the proper thickness the proper shape and that's the flap being returned back onto the bed on top of this we will put a contact lens that will remain for around uh, three to four days